Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Harakha Khodasha, Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be, You Cannot Fake Faith in the Fire. All right? Faith can't be faked in the fire. Right now, it's easy to, to act like you're down with the truth. Okay? To, to act like you're down with the cause. Right. But when that fire come, we see we have seen men fold and we're going to see uh, 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 more men fold. And I pray that you to how by Shami Yahweh Shai that I'm not one of them. All right. Because uh, it come, ultimately it comes down to predestination. It comes down. To, it, it comes down to if you were ordained by Yahweh by Shami Yahweh Shai from the beginning. OK. To endure unto the end to be delivered. All right. But faith can't be faked. In the fire, I want to start off with this precept in the book of uh, Sirach, the sixth chapter. I read this yesterday on a different topic, but um, this will go good on what we're talking about today. This is the book of Sirach, chapter six and verse, I'll start at verse seven. It says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. And be not hasty to credit him. So that's that's the process that we're in right now. We're in a um, approving process. All right, a time period of trial to see if we're really down with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, um, let me go from there to Peter. I got more on that, but we, we'll jump back to that. This is the book of First Peter. Salakias, the first chapter. First Peter 1 and verse. I'll start at verse. I'll start at verse 5. Matter of fact, I'll start at 1. It's first Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Peter, an, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, it's Asia and Bithynia. And it's not talking about heathens. Okay. The strangers, when you go into that word, uh, it says the strangers scattered. When you go into that word scattered, it's the Greek word diaspora. All right. Which is what the scattering of the Jews, the dispersion of the Israelites. Okay. Of the 12 tribes of Israel. Look it up in the blue letter. Okay. So it's talking about, he's, he's an apostle to Israelites that's uh, 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 um, um, in Pontus to Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia, right? Verse two, it says, elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh, the father. Goes back to what I was saying through the spirit. It's all about the elect, all right? Yahweh Shai said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. He's praying for the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? <clears throat> it says, through the sanctification of the spirit. On, so, so the elect is sanctified by the spirit. We, I believe, I believe that the spirit is on us. Starting with the apostles and, and, and the elders on down. The men of great millstone and men that's in uh, uh, the same spirit. Teaching the same doctrine. Okay. The spirit is on us. All we have to do is hold fast that which we have already until the Lord comes. If we do so, that would make us of the elect. That would make us chosen. So we have we have the greatest chance right now. You know, you look at Jake. Look look how Jake moving. Look how Jake living. Okay? Jake not moving according to the spirit of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. They're not acknowledging the power. Right? It says, unto, the, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the power 
and father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fade if not away, reserved in heaven for you. So this is what we have reserved. This is what we have waiting for us. Okay? But before we have before we can get this in incorruptible inheritance, right? This undefiled reward that fade if not away, before we can get that, we first have to be proven. Going back into that Sirach. If thou get us uh, get us a friend, prove him first, right? It says, who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Who are kept by the power. You go into that word kept. It's a Greek word. I, I forget the Greek word, but uh, it means to be um, protected by a military guard. Look it up in the blue letter. To be protected by a military guard. Or to be guarded by a military. And that military that's guarding us is the host of heaven. Right? The angels of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, who are kept by the power of the Lord. Through faith, we're kept, we're protected, we're guarded through faith. Right? On to salvation. Ready to be revealed in the last time. We got to hold, hold our faith to the end. You could say you could you you could say you believe now you have faith now, all right. We've heard it before. We we've seen it online, different different top teachers. You 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 looking like this this got to be a man of the Lord. Matter of fact, he 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 might even be Isaiah, right? Then his ass end up bugging out. Okay. We got to keep the faith unto the end. And Sirach, the second chapter says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. We're going to suffer certain things. The apostles always mention this when they, uh, at one point they were locked up. I can't remember if it was the 9-11 situation and they were falsely persecuted. All right. But they were locked up. And one of the guys that, that, that was with them, who they loved dearly, he folded off of that fire. When that fire came upon them, when that persecution came upon them, he said, I can't, I can't deal with this, man. Again, he got locked up for the truth along with the apostles, along with the elders, right? That was there. And he said that, and he said, look, I can't, I can't handle this. So he folded in the fire when everything was cool, when everything was straight, he was out there, right? He was standing bold. But when the persecution came, it showed that his faith wasn't really there. The scriptures say, if thou faint in adversity... Let me look that up. Uh, faint. Small. Proverbs 24 and 12. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Thy strength or thy faith is small. In the, day of, in, the, in the day of adversity is right around the corner. We're going through adversity right now and we see certain guys falling out. Showing that their faith was never really there. Okay? So let's go back into that uh, Peter. This is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, right? And um, as uncomfortable as it is, it's a good thing if you're in heaviness right now. And the reason why I say that is because the whole body is in heaviness right now. And I know that because the different videos that's coming out on brothers and doing whatever they're dealing with right now, because more evils is to come, right? Like the elder, I'm a one, uh, Gabar out there in New York. You know, I, I binge watched a couple of his videos last night. And he kept saying that, look, if you can't deal with what you're dealing with, right now, if you can't deal with what you're dealing with right now, how are you going to be able to deal with the things that's about to happen? How are you going to be able to deal with Jacob's trouble? So, yes, the things that we're dealing it dealing with right now is is heavy upon us. It's uncomfortable. Right. But it's needful. OK, it's a part of us getting to where we need to be. It says in the book of Acts 14, through much tribulation. Shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven? And this is the beginning of sorrows. So the things that we're going through right now is strengthening us 
and preparing us for worse times that we're coming into, for times that for times of trial, for times of of that fire being put to our faith. Let's just continue to read. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. So our faith is being tried like gold. How is gold tried? Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right. That's Sirach, the second chapter, the fifth verse. All right. So throughout our adversity, the Lord is proving us. Is this really a friend? Is he really down? Does he really believe? Or is he just following the crowd? Or is it just the act? Right. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. You can't hot look, you can't that gold, that that little costume costume jewelry look good in the club, right? And make sure you don't keep it on. Don't go, don't go to sleep with it, right? <laughs> don't don't go into the shower with it. Okay? Your neck might turn green. All right. But it look good when it's not tested. When it's not put under, when it's not scrutinized, when it's not put under the fire and into the furnace, it looks good, right? You look like, you look like a whole fucking rapper <laughs> with, with, with that gold. But once you put that gold, that false gold into the fire, it's going to burn up. All right. So there's certain, there's certain dudes uh, and, and look at these other camps. Yeah, it looks nice. Got, got, got the matching garments. But when the persecution arrives... It's going to be shown that this is fucking costume jewelry. All right. This is fucking dross. OK. You can't fake faith. In the fire. Just like you can't. You can't say this is uh, uh, you can't fake gold in the fire either. Right. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire might be found onto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're, um, we're hoping to be found worthy in the, in them days, man. We're hoping to be found worthy when Yahweh Shai Mashiach appears. Let me get a scripture on that in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 21. And verse Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. And take heed to yourselves. This is in the red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking to us. All right. This is this is he, this is him speaking to us right now. Okay. As I read this, this is the Spirit of the Lord speaking to us right now. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. So we got to take heed to ourselves. We got to examine ourselves. We got to scrutinize ourselves. Okay. Put ourselves under that light and make sure we're not getting caught up in the, in the, in the cares of this place, man. Right. It says he that, uh, uh, um, war if entangleth not himself with the affairs of this, uh, of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, roughly paraphrasing. And so that day come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. These niggas going to be caught off guard because they was caught up with the cares of this life. OK, it says. Verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the son of man. So we got to stay on our watch. All right. We got to stay on our watch so that we don't get caught up in the judgment and the wrath that's about to come upon this place. It said, watch, it said, watch and pray always. Hey, the Lord said that before he left in Matthews, right before he was crucified. He said, uh, um, watch and pray. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Right. That you fall not into temptation. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. When Yahweh said, uh, going back into that, Peter said uh, the appearing of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. 
When he returns, we want to be counted worthy, right? To escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man and to, and to bow before Mashiach Yahweh Shai and have him place an everlasting crown upon our head, right? Saying, well done, my good and faithful servant, because you've been faithful, right? That's the topic of conversation is faith because you've been faithful over a few things. I'll give you authority over many cities, All right? It says, um, I did the video last week on that. You know, blessed is that servant. Whom when his Lord comes shall find him doing. Doing what? Being faithful. Luke 18. Shall not the Lord avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him? He will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on earth? Let's go from there to the book of Malachi, the third chapter. It's Malachi chapter 3, and I'll start at verse 2. It says, But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Right, so who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who is going to be able to stand before the Son of Man? The ones that's watching and praying. The ones that's found faithful, right? And the faithful is moving in a certain vibration. It says, um, by faith, Noah moved with fear. So if you truly fear Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, if you truly have faith in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, you're going to move a certain way. It causes action. James said, I will show you my faith. By my works, faith without works is dead and works without faith is dead, right? So the two go hand in hand. If you truly believe, you have to show that belief, right? Anyone can talk the talk. It says with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart goeth after their own covetousness. The Lord is putting our faith to the test. Our faith is on trial. And it's, it's now, it's happening now, not just when the hour of temptation comes. We're building up to that point, okay? Not when martial law, you know, uh, 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 is implemented. Our faith is already being tried. That fire is already being put to us. I'm looking for this scripture. There's a scripture that popped in my head. Right, Isaiah 33. Isaiah, it said, who shall, um, I'll read that Malachi again. Let me just find this Isaiah. Isaiah 33. So this is, um, let me read that Malachi. This is Malachi 3 and 2. It says, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? Is Isaiah chapter 33. In verse, I started verse 14. It says, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. Right? Oh, the word hypocrite means what? An actor. So not just niggas in the world, but also niggas with fringes, niggas with beards. Who've been acting like they, that, like they sent from the Lord. Who've been acting like they chosen a, a, a Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? It's a fucking act to a lot of these guys. It's a character to them, okay? It says, who, and it's going to surprise them. Why? Because they haven't been watching. They haven't been praying. They're too busy trying to have fun. They're too busy trying to have mirth in a place that's about to be destroyed. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burning? See, he, he, basically asking the same question uh, 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 in that Malachi. Who can abide the day of his coming? He's coming to bring fire, right? Who shall stand when he appeareth? Who, who is going to be able to survive through this great judgment that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is bringing? Verse 15, here's the answer. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. Okay? So not only do you have to speak upright, but you have to walk upright. Okay, 
our our talk must match our walk. Okay? We have to practice what we preach. Okay? He that walketh righteously, it says that Abraham's faith was counted unto him as righteousness. The just shall live by faith. Right? It says, he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure he will be taken care of. My servant shall eat when everybody else is hungry. My servant shall drink when everybody else is thirsty. Right? It says in the book of Second Ezra, the second chapter, it says, uh, uh, <clears throat> Let me grab it. Second Ezra, and I gotta start wrapping up, man. Second Ezra, this goddamn phone retarded. Uh, let me just look it up. It's not letting me do shit on here. Satan. Shatan. Second Ezra chapter two, right? My servant shall eat, my servant shall drink when everybody else is hungry, when everybody else is thirsty. It says, Second Ezra chapter two and verse 26. As for the servants whom I have given, whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou, the servants, shall be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Okay? So the Lord's hand is going to be over the ones that's walking righteously and that's talking uprightly. Okay? Now let's go back. Lord's will is start working let's go back into that malachi this is malachi 3 and verse 2 but who may abide the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeared if we just read it we read it in the book of luke watch and pray that ye may be able to stand uh, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape the said perils and to stand before the son of man right and who shall stand when he appeareth for he is like a refiner's fire we read it in that isaiah as well for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. This is how the Lord is sitting right now. Right? And he's putting us in that furnace. Now, there's um, a great video. I believe the elder brother Amawan, he did, Amawan Gabar, he did the video on it or he was responding to a video on it. But nonetheless, there was a woman. She went and she asked the, uh, I guess there was like a Bible study group and they were reading this Malachi. Nonetheless, they went and asked a silversmith, right? And she said, well, how do you know? She was going, she was asking him about the process of refining silver and refining gold and, and different metals, right? She said, how do you know when the silver is finished? And he said, that's easy when I can see my image in it, okay? So the hell that we're catching right now, as uncomfortable as it is, it's Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai molding us into his image. Okay? He's turning us into gods. He's perfecting us through suffering. It's a necessary evil as the Apostle Kabar goes into. We have to, through much tribulation, shall we enter into the kingdom. Right? It says, and he shall purify the sons of Levi. He's purifying the whole nation. The whole nation of Israel and purge them as gold and silver that they may that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. So he's purifying us that we may be accepted. Right. It says in the book of wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, that he received them as a burnt offering. In Isaiah 48, and I believe it's verse 10, it says he has chosen them. Let me read that before I butcher it. What I say, Isaiah 48. 
this Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Right? Prove a friend first. I have chosen thee. Yeah, that's my guy. Get him. When's that going to happen? In the furnace. While we in the fire. It says in the book of 2nd Edges, the 16th chapter, it's going into the prophecies and all hell breaking out loose. This devil coming down, sparing none like a madman, spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right? It says, then you shall know who is my chosen. You cannot fake faith in the fire. So as the fire increases, as the adversity as the furnace gets hotter, we're going to see who really down for Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Shit's going to get real intense. And I pray that I endure unto the end. And I pray that my sincere brothers endure unto the end as well. Okay? But we got to be praying for ourselves. We got to be watching for ourselves. Fasting for ourselves. Otherwise, then prayer is going to be null and void. Right? So let's go from there to the book of uh, back in second Ezra, back in Sirach, chapter six. Sirach, chapter six and verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. All right. So a, a lot of people, a lot, there's a lot of people claiming Israel, a lot of Israelites claiming to be Israelites. Right. Down for the truth, down for the cause. Okay, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans waking up to who they are, putting on fringes, growing their beard out, right? But it's only for an occasion, right? To get women, to get clout, to get money, whatever the fuck it is, man, right? And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. When shit hit the fan, okay, niggas gonna scatter. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover that reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. Okay? I thought we was cool. I thought we was boys. But when that fire came, you had to you had to bounce. You had to get up out of there. Or oh, this nigga that used to be in the camp out here, I had a bad week. Never seen the nigga since. Right? But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. But when shit's cool, okay, when ain't no persecution. Then, then you down. You the loudest nigga. Bring it out. Right? But then that energy disappear when, 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 when that fire put to your ass. And it's shown that you are dross, man. It's shown that you are dross, which is the waste of gold. And, and the scriptures talk about that, man. It's time for me to go in. But I need to get this. I must needs get this. It's in Timothy. Timothy um, Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19 Nevertheless the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure Having this seal The Lord knoweth them that are his And let every one that nameth the name of Mashiach Yahweh Shai Depart from iniquity but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. So in this, in, in that great house is speaking of the nation of Israel. All right. There's gold and there's silver. And then there's wood and earth. And when that fire is put to the nation of Israel, we're going to see who the gold and silver are, is, the silver is. And we're going to see who the wood is, who the dross is. Revelations 13 and 8. Someone put that up. Having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rechach Hodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechach Hodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. And the Thamash Shana Kabbalah, Laza Kormi Shara Shara Lagi, Dabba Anas, to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Laba, Chiyar, Shara Shara Lagi, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Wahab, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is near to believe. Shalom.